Hey guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing this very simple makeup look. This is just bronzy and glowy skin and very natural eyes. Um, this is just the perfect look for any summer day and especially when it's really hot out, I use very few products on my face, which is what I love to do in the summertime. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep watching. I'm going to start out with the Origins Ginseng um, Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I really like to put a moisturizer on before I put anything else on my skin. And this one doesn't have an SPF in it, but that's okay because the um, CC cream that I'm putting on has SPF. So you wanna make sure something that you're putting on your face has your SPF in it. So I'm going to let that sink in for just a minute and then we'll move on to primer. And while we're waiting for that to sink into my skin, I'm just going to throw on some lip balm. This is the Vaseline Lip Therapy Cocoa Butter. I love this stuff. Um, it's just like a super easy tin of lip balm and it just makes your lip feel not so dry. And so I like to throw this on um, all the time if I'm at home, but right before I do my makeup, it just, I don't know, it's like something about my lips being dry while I do my makeup drives me insane. All right, for primer today, I'm gonna to use this one from Bare Minerals. It's the Good Hydrations um, Hydrating Primer. I've really been enjoying this one. I recently received it um, probably like a week or two ago and I've been using it a ton. I really like it. Usually I like pore filling primers, but I've been noticing I really like this one on my skin right now. So it doesn't have like that silicone -y feel, but it's not, it still is a good base for makeup if you have uneven texture or anything like that. It's not a strictly hydrating primer. All right, I'm going to go in now with the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream. This has SPF 50 and I'm using the shade Medium. I'm almost out of it. I'm obsessed with this stuff. I constantly am buying it because it's just so good. It gives you tons of coverage and then also has SPF in it, which makes it so perfect to wear in the summertime and out on the lake. And it gives you a lot of coverage too. It's not like a lot of like BB creams and CC creams that barely give you any coverage. This stuff covers like a foundation does. Okay, so as you can tell, you can still see some of my blemishes here because I put a very thin layer on. I like to use as small amount of product on my face as humanly possible in the summer just because it's so hot and humid here in Michigan. So I'm just going to do a little spot concealing with the L'Oreal. This is the True Match Crayon and I have mine in N45. So it's just a crayon concealer and it's a little bit thicker and I just like to go through and spot conceal so I'm not putting another full layer on my face of product. I'm just putting it on the little areas that I need some extra coverage. And then I'll just blend this out again with my Ego Tool sponge. Alright, so now that I've finished blending out that concealer, concealer, I'm done with coverage for my face. I don't think that this is flawless coverage, but I'm okay with that in the summer. I don't mind if a few of my blemishes um, show through my foundation. That's just me though. If you do want to go in and do another layer of foundation or more concealer, absolutely do whatever makes you feel the most comfortable. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Benefit Watts Up. This is a cream highlight, and I really like using more cream products in the summertime. So, and if you are going to use a cream or liquid highlight, make sure you put it on before you put any powder on your face because it's so hard to blend out creams and liquids over powders. So I'm just putting this on the high points of my cheeks and then I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. And it just gives the prettiest glow. I'll put a little bit down the center of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with bronzer. In the winter, I would normally set my entire face with powder since I am a little bit more oily and I am acne prone. And even sometimes in the summer, if I need my makeup to last all day long, I will definitely go in with a powder. But just on a regular day, if I'm out on the lake or gonna be outside and it's really hot out, then I just skip the powder and I just do mostly creams. 
The highlight I'm going to go in with is by Benefit. It's the Hula Bronzer. I love this stuff. As you can see, I've hit major pan on it. And I'm just going to use the brush it comes with. Um, one tip if you're putting bronzer straight on top of your foundation is not to spread it this way, but to tap it in because a lot of times the powder will help you blend your makeup, more, blend all of your powders more seamlessly. So you want to make sure that it's not really patchy and tapping it first will help you achieve a more smooth and seamless look. So I'll just place that where I want it to be and then I will blend it out with a bigger brush when I'm done. So I just put that in the hollows of my cheeks and then also I'll put it on the sides of my forehead and my temples, just where my hairline is. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics powder brush and just blend this out. And then you're probably gonna think I'm extra, but I'm gonna go in with a different bronzer. This is the NARS Laguna bronzer. It's one of my favorites. It's a neutral bronzer, so it's not too warm and it's not too cool. Um, I'm just gonna bronze up the rest of my face with this. I love the Benefit Hula bronzer, but I don't like the way that it comes in the box. It's really hard to get a big powder brush in it, and I've already hit pan in the middle, so I've just been going on in with a different bronzer that I have the full pan of so that I can um, pick it up more easily. Otherwise, I would use you know whatever bronzer you wanna use. You don't have to use two. I'm just making it easier on myself at the moment. So I'm just going to do the three C's. So you just do your forehead temples, down the of your cheeks, and then under your um, jawline just to bronze up the skin. Okay, so that is good for me. Now I'm going to move on for blush. This is the Too Faced um, Love Flush Blush in the color Baby Love. That's so hard to say. Um, it's just a really pretty neutral color. I really like this one for an everyday for summer. I just think it gives you a natural flush and it's not like a super obvious blush. It's just a nice wash of color over your cheeks and kind of almost looks like you've been in the sun, which I really love that look in the summer. All right, I'm not gonna put a powder or a highlight on top of the highlight that I already did. So now that I'm done with everything on my face, I'm going to set everything. And today I'm using this setting spray. It's the Physician's Formula Insta Ready Setting Spray. It's fine, I don't have anything really great or negative to say about it. I'm almost out of it. It's just what I have on hand right now. Um, I don't like the smell of it, but the sprayer is pretty decent for a drugstore. Although this is a little bit more pricey than a lot of other drugstore brands. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my Eco Tool sponge, sponge and just go over everything again. Um, this kind of just melts it into your skin and makes it look a little bit more seamless on your face. Okay, so that is all I'm going to do on my skin. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm just going to take an eyebrow brush and just brush up my eyebrows. And then I'm going to set them into place. This is the Milani Brow Shaping Clear Gel. I like this. It's from the drugstore again. Um, it's not super strong holding. It's not like the Anastasia um, Clear Brow Gel, but for me, it's enough for a casual day. Um, I will prefer the Anastasia one if I really want my brows to stay in place uh, all day long. But this one does the job just for a casual day. Moving on, I'm going to curl my eyelashes and... Then I'm going to start out with the Tarte um, Lights Camera Lashes Mascara.
Okay, now once that dries, I'm gonna go in with another mascara. I know this is another extra step, but since I'm not putting anything else on my eyes, I do want them to stand out, and I really like the look of just bare eyes with tons of mascara. So I'm gonna go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Um, the Tarte one is really good at separating and lengthening your lashes, and the Better Than Sex is better is really good at um, volumizing them. So I feel like the two of them together, this is my perfect mascara combo. Alright, so that is the finished look. This is super simple. It takes me less than 10 minutes to do. And I feel like this is the perfect glowy and bronzed up look for summer that I can wear day in and day out. I wore it yesterday to the lake and it's just very simple, but I still feel like I look a little bit more put together than just not wearing any makeup at all. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.